many members are in PJ Masks? Gecko, Catboy, and Owlet. So I'm gonna lock in three. Let's go! What isn't a line from Talking Ben? Man? <laughs> yes? No. I think it's C, guys. It was! What instrument does Squidward play? I'm gonna lock in clarinet. I'm gonna go clarinet, bro. I would take it! What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Like You Vlog. Yeah! Today we are seeing if we can solve this insane multiple choice quiz. Okay, now how many arrows are in a game of Friday Night Fun Kid? Now this is, wait, this is really tricky guys. This is a 99% fail test that we found online. It's real difficult. I think there's four because there's four arrow keys. You know what I mean? Oh, right. That's true. Four yeah. Arrow keys. But right. What if it's eight? Because there's four arrows for each player. Oh, right. On the left side, there's four. And I think on the right side, there's also four. Is it four or eight then? That makes no sense. Hmm. Guys, let us tricky. know. Is it four? I'm going to go with four. Okay, I think the answer to this is eight only because there's the two pairs of four. All right, I'm going to go four. Adam's going to go eight. Let's see what we got, dude. It was eight. No, I had that. Nice. Okay, now what isn't a line from Talking Ben? I know all of his lines. See, I'll just do them first. I don't know. He picks up the phone and goes, bring, bring, and he goes, man. <laughs> yes? No. Ugh. And then he hangs up. That's it. Right. So which ones did I do? You did Ben. Burn, burn, burn. I did that one. That's A and B. And he says, yes? Yep. And he goes, no. That's D. And he goes, ugh. Does he say maybe? maybe? Well, maybe the ugh is his way of saying maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. that might be it. Although, I think you got them all, so I feel like C might be the right answer. Guys, let us know in the comments if you get these right. I think it's C. I, I don't think he says maybe, because he had to say, maybe. I would remember that. Yeah, right. I think it's C, guys. It was! Yeah! Okay, now this is real tricky, guys. Where in Poppy Playtime do you meet Cat B? So this... This little animal for the first time. Right. Okay, guys. These are going to get trickier and trickier. Let us know in the comments after you're done with this video how many you got right. This is real tricky. Outside the factory, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you start the game in the factory. So that's impossible. Right. That's in chapter true. one, you start in the factory. Mm -hmm. Make a friend machine. Is this the toy you get in Make a Friend? Or is that Bunzo Bunny? Oh, man. This is tricky. Poppy's room. Guys, these are impossible difficulty, guys. This is going to be real tricky. Poppy... Yeah, there might be one in the corner of Poppy's room. We don't remember. Like when you open the, the 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 glass case and she goes, "You opened my case." Right. I'm trying to think if there's a cat bee. In or the is corner. it in the vents? The vents would make a lot of sense because you're in the vents for a lot of Poppy playtime. The play vents time. would make sense. Right. But where do you meet Cat Bee for, for the first time? Well, you aren't really in the vents until after the make a friend machine. Like, yeah. You make the, 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 the toy in the machine. In chapter one, yeah. Then you go to the vents. Yeah. So I don't think it's the vents. I don't think it's outside the factory because you never go outside the factory. So, so uh, you're confusing me. Hey, uh, why don't you tell us your guess? I think it's either B, make a friend friend machine or C, Poppy's room. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Poppy's room only because I think you make Bunzo Bunny in Make a Friend, not Cat B. I'm gonna go with Make a Friend machine because we make some toy, but I don't know what it was. It might've been Brawn. All right, let's see it. All right, let's go. It was! Nice! Okay, now how many members are in PJ Masks? That's real tricky, bro. Oh, That's boy. not easy. This might be a trick <laughs> question, guys. Now this looks easy, just like the Friday Night Funkin' Arrows, but it's not. What was so funny? Like, well, I'm trying to think. Do they count Romeo? That's what I'm saying. As a member of PJ Masks? Or the Night Ninja? Right, the Night Ninja! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Or Luna Girl. Oh, Luna Girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay, this so. serious. Obviously, we all know Catboy, so that's one. Yeah. We got Gecko. Gecko. That's two. Yep. Owlette is three. That's three. Now, Romeo, does that count as four? Romeo. And does Night Ninja count? That would be five. Dude, so we know the villains don't count because if they did, there would be six and that's not an answer. Look how big my brain is! So what do you think the actual answer is? Look how big my brain is, guys. See that? Because Catboy, one. Owlet, Gecko, Romeo, Night Ninja, Luna Girl, that's six and that's not a choice here. So we know, using our brains, that it can't be counting the villains. So it's gotta be three. It's gotta be just Gecko, Catboy, and Owlette. If Justin gets this right. And oh, it's four. It's me, cause I'm in the PJ Mask. He is actually a hero of the night. Let's see if three is the right answer. I'm gonna lock in three. Let's go! Got it! Oh. Okay, 
now it's saying what year did Roblox come out? How am I supposed to know that? I mean, you need like a time machine to know that. I have no idea. Wait, what? How are we supposed to know this? Okay, what year did it come out? 2000. That yeah, year hasn't even happened yet, so it can't be that one. 2005, 2010, or 2015. I have no idea <clears throat> on this one. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna use logic and I'm gonna get it. All right, watch. Break it down. Watch this. Can't be 2000. That year has not happened yet. We are reverse aging, so it's not there yet. 2005. <laughs> that was a five. Subtract the five and you get 2,000, which also has not happened yet. It couldn't be that one. I'm gonna look at my Roblox gift card, phone a friend, phone a friend. Okay, Justin's dialing on the gift card. I see it. Uh-huh. See, Roblox gift cards, you had $25? Yeah. 2005. I'm gonna lock in 2005, and if I got it right, I'm a genius, and nobody could tell me anything else. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just randomly guess 2010, so C. It's either 2005 or 2010, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, two, year 2000 has not happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> and 2015, I feel like that's too recent. Right. Okay. Okay, so it's either B or C. I'm gonna lock in C just to lock I'm in gonna B. Go, I'm gonna go B, I'm gonna go 2005, guys, let's go. Let's go, I'm a genius! Wow, he was right about everything he just said. Everything I just said was true, guys. Wow. Everything, scientifically proven. Okay, now what land animal can open its mouth the widest? What? So, there's one animal here that could open its mouth wider than Aiden, anybody. Aiden, when he sees some milk. <laughs> open wide, Aiden. Open wide, Aiden. Ow, there you go. Uh, milky. Milky milk, milky milk. Is it, al yeah, an alligator can open it really wide. That's true. Alligator, crocodile, those are just same animals. That doesn't even make any sense. A baboon is like a what's monkey. That? What's that? It's a like balloon? A it's not an animal. No, a baboon. It's like a like a mix of a monkey and a gorilla. What? Yeah, it's like in between. Or no, it, that's a, a, a orangutan. Right. I think baboons and orangutans are pretty similar. What's a baboon? It's like a monkey. Okay. Yeah, we'll put up an image on screen of a funny looking baboon. Okay, if it's a baboon. If that's a monkey, I don't think the monkeys can open their mouths super wide unless it's like a special kind of monkey. Right, that's true. I always hang out with the monkeys at the zoo. Not in the cage. No, obviously the not. How, yeah. Who does that? Right. Or is it a hippo? A hippo can also open its mouth pretty wide. I've seen one at the zoo eat a whole watermelon. Right, that's true, guys. This is not even right, dude. This quiz is messed up. I don't know why I say lanky box quiz. I'm know? gonna go ahead and lock in baboon. Why though? Because I feel like in nature, if they were needing to eat like a giant banana, they would have to do it. <laughs> Nike, just do it. <laughs> do you think baboons wear shirts that say Nike on them? They see a big banana and they say, just do it. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna say you're wrong. What do you think it is? I'm gonna use process of elimination. Even though this is clearly wrong. What land animal? Dude, it's it's a it's a, um it's a blue whale. <laughs> Cause blue whale can it's huge. It opens the mouth huge. It was so funny! What was that little chuckle you just did? That's me being smart. <laughs> okay, it's well you're gonna whale. guess- It's a blue whale. What land animal can open its mouth? Oh, and you said a whale. Land. Oh, land. Okay. Okay, oh, just no, get it no, well. I take it back. It's not, no. I'm smart. See, I. this is my time to shine. Everybody thinks just you're a dummy. I'm not, guys. Alligator crocodile, that's like the same animal, so it can't be those. Cause that's sci scientifically, cybernetically the same, okay? With the DNA! <laughs> okay, baboon is a kind of monkey. I don't think monkeys is probably not that crazy. I have to go hippo. I don't know, but I'm guessing. I'ma show you guys this is how geniuses think, bro. I'ma prove it, okay? I said hippo. He's gonna prove it. What? <laughs> you need a what? You need to prove it? You need to poop it, go! No! Go, go! No, let's Five see the answer. Five seconds, I ain't gonna poop it. <laughs> no, I don't. Go there, why'd you say that then? Cause you said it. I didn't say that, I said I'm gonna prove it. You need to go poop it. Go! Alright, let's see the answer. I'm a genius! <laughs> It was hippo! And you know how I also got that one? I didn't even leak, I didn't leak this strategy. It's too high, too high IQ. Wow. If you rearrange the letters of hippo, it spells IHOP. 
<gasps> and I, I eat a lot of IHOP. And like IHOP, the stack of pancakes, you have that open real wide to eat them. That's, see, that's how fast I'm thinking. Wow, that's smart. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now what is this, bro? What is the biggest planet in our solar system? How are we supposed to... I, I don't know. I haven't even left this room. How okay. No, okay, it's obviously the sun. <laughs> Well, Easy. okay, is Where's it- the moon? The moon's huge. Mercury- Elon Musk! Try to go to the moon. He lives there. What? Mercury, Earth, Jupiter, or Saturn. Which is, is this the biggest This is a trick planet? question. None of those are planets except for the Earth. Well, then what are they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! Hmm. Ask Rocky. Rocky says, my dad's a meteor. He knows. Do you know the answer to this one? Yeah. What's the answer? What's the biggest planet? My dad. Your dad is the biggest planet in our solar system? He's a meteor, and he's huge. <laughs> I know, but is he bigger than a planet? He's real big. Yeah, but is he bigger than a planet? What are you trying to say? Planets are massive. The, it's the answer, sun, dude, it's the sun. <laughs> That's a trick question. I'm just gonna go any, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna guess Mercury. What is that? Mercury? Mercury is a planet. That's, no, it's not, bro. I think it is. Sun, moon, earth. Planet. Yeah. Those are the planets. All right. Well, then I'm actually not sure, guys. Even though I do work for NASA, nothing I say you should use in school. I'm just showing you how my brain works, and I think <laughs> it's the sun. Okay. Which want... is not an answer here. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Did they sneakily add it yep, in? Yep, yep, because the, the word sun is in this one. Saturn. And if you take out sat, ATR. Sat. 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 So if you take out ATR. Saturday. Then it's Saturday. Spelled, it's the first letters of Saturday. And you take out the ATR, it spells sun. And the sun is the biggest one. Okay, so Justin's gonna lock in Saturn. I'm gonna lock in Mercury. Wait a minute. No, I take that back, dude. We're so dumb, dude. What? Look at the photo. It tells us the sun is the, or the earth is the biggest. Mmm. Okay, you wanna change your answer? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Justin's gonna lock in Earth, and I'm gonna lock in Mercury. Yeah, the picture shows us, man. I didn't know the sun was that small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and really close. What? All right, let's see what it is. I'm gonna lock in Earth. <laughs> <laughs> It was Jupiter! <laughs> no, none of us guessed that one. What is that? Is What is that? That's the Earth next to Jupiter. No, it's not. So I guess Jupiter is like a thousand times bigger than the Earth. That so can't be real. If any of you guys out there are like geniuses, like baby geniuses, hey, you probably knew that. If any of you guys got that, you're an actual certified genius, I will get you an interview with <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> okay, how, this is impossible. How many colors are in a rainbow? What? Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna put up an image of a rainbow this one here. right there. Now, how many colors are there? Red, yellow, blue, three. What about because green? Because all other colors <laughs> are made from red, yellow, blue. Oh! It's three. So the number of colors in a rainbow is three, which is not even an answer. <laughs> I'm smart, I'm smart. I know what it is. If I get a bag of Skittles, Skittles, they taste the rainbow. So if I know how many colors are in Skittles, I'll know. Okay. So purple ones, yellow ones, red ones, green ones, orange ones. So that's five. Yep. So I'm gonna round up to six. It's six, it's C. Ah, see that? Look at how smart my brain is just, woo, just zooming over at it. Well, I'm trying to while. think, because my, my mom always teaches us about colors, and I'm trying to think of- She always teaches you. I already passed that. She sometimes will sing a song to me, and I think that- She doesn't sing to you. She, she did. She puts out Coco Melon. She did, and oh, I she remember- She puts out Leggy Box channel and their lit videos. Yeah, and I think she sang this song one time that was really catchy that goes, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I think that means there's seven. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I'm gonna yo, lock in hey, seven. Hey, yo. You need to go back. You need to go to Likey Box channel and watch some lit videos about numbers and colors, bro. You need you failed color school and counting school. So you're gonna lock in six? Yeah. Foxy says we got a lit song about one, two, threes coming out. You can watch that one. Okay. You need to, bro. Alright, let's see what the answer is here. It's dude, if I get a six, I'm a genius. I literally used the Skittles method and I got it. I got it right! How, how did he get it right going red, orange, yellow, <laughs> green, blue, purple, and then saying seven? How did you get it right? This is a hack. 
You cheated. I'm You're not. You're cheating. I'm not. You are cheating. So how is there seven colors in a rainbow? Explain that. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. How's that seven? I don't know. You're hacking. Now, where is the fastest muscle in the human body? Is it the arm, the eye, the fingers, or the leg? The eye is not a muscle. That doesn't even make sense. That's true. Is it? Fingers what? are pretty quick, but I think those are bones. My legs are so quick. Justin has a lot of muscles in his arms. Like, they're like... It's not saying what the biggest muscle is. It's the fastest. My legs are super fast. And right. you can never catch me. We play tag. You never catch me. My vein is like... That's true. I'm so fast. That is true. I'm mm. going legs. And mm. the hint is the flash. So it's got to be legs. <laughs> Easy. I'm going to go with Easiest the question fingers. Why? Because I feel like when you go like this, it's really fast. Like yeah. probably Well, how about when I go like this? Guys, let us know which one is faster. You couldn't even see me. That's true. I'm going D, the legs. One of us is right. I know and that for sure. I'm going to go sure. C, the fingers. Okay. What? <laughs> the eye? The eye's not muscle. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Oh, bruh. What instrument does Squidward play? Okay, is it the flute, the guitar, the clarinet, or the banjo? Okay, this is tricky, guys. Now, I can, I have 50-50 right here because I can narrow it down. It's either the flute or the clarinet. I don't think it's guitar or banjo. I think he plays something like that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Montgomery Gator plays the guitar, but not Squidward. I think Squidward plays the flute. Does, okay, does he go like this? The flute goes like this, or does he go like this with the clarinet? That's how you feel like he goes like this. That's the clarinet, I know. Okay, then I'm gonna lock in clarinet. I'm gonna go clarinet, bro. I'm pretty sure it's a clarinet. All I right. don't know what that is, though. Let's go! All right! Big break. What is the coldest place on Earth? <laughs> Adam's mom's heart. <laughs> okay, is it Santa's <laughs> workshop, the South Pole, <laughs> Antarctica, or the refrigerator? Oh, wait, the fridge. The fridge is really cold. The fridge is very, very cold. Although, isn't the freezer colder than the refrigerator? Yeah, it's part of the refrigerator, though. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, hmm. Uh, now, the Santa's workshop's gotta be pretty cold, though. No, it's not, because they have hot cocoa there. <laughs> That's true, yeah. And there's a bunch of elves running around. The right. South Pole and Antarctica are... What's the difference? I think one's on the top of the Earth and one's on the bottom. What? Yeah. What? So both of them are really cold. So it kind of depends on which side of the Earth is facing the sun. I'm just going to lock in the refrigerator. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know the freeze is really cold. I don't really know. Why did you say all that and then just lock in the refrigerator? That's my guess, by the way. Back off. Because the freezer is like really Super cold. Super cold. Yeah. That's where I make my popsicles. That's true, guys. He What's the difference between Antarctica and the South Pole? I thought Antarctica is the South Pole. I, I don't know. That's why I'm just going to guess the fridge because I don't know the difference. I'm getting stressed out, bro. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think it's the South Pole. Okay. It's got to be cold down there. All right. Judd's going to lock in the South Pole. I will lock in the fridge. And what happens to the temperature when it gets cold? It goes down. Oh, South. South. South Pole. What? <laughs> Antarctica. I thought the two are the same thing, bro. Are you serious? Okay, what is this, bro? What comes after a trillion? What is that? What comes after a trillion? Oh, a trillion. Is it a billion, quadrillion, quintillion, or a Google? What? The answer <clears throat> these go 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 go. <laughs> what is this, guys? What is this math school, dude? I don't know. Oh, it's probably a billion. Well, a billion's huge. I think it goes thousands. What? Here we go. Millions. Again. Nonsense. Red, orange, yellow. We just you just prove you don't know your your numbers, bro. Billions and then trillions. I think trillion is bigger than a billion. So I think it's <sighs> Google. <laughs> Because I think Google... Uh, blah, 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 Google. That's all, That's all I heard. I think Google, I remember my mom was telling me what it was. She said it was like a number so big that you can't even understand it. That's the number 100 to you. Yeah, that's Your true. Your mom's making stuff up. That Google, D, you Google stuff on the internet. And they misspelled it, that's too. That's what I'm saying. You really got tricked by that? You said Google. I'm just going to lock it in. I'm just going to lock gotta it in. It's got to be quintillion. Quintillion? Yeah. Wow. That sounds big, quintillion. 
Yeah. All of these sound big. All right, let's see what it is. It's quadrillion, bro. Man, I thought that was an animal. No, that's a quesadilla. Oh, right. <laughs> You're not even thinking. What is this, bro? What do snakes smell with? What a silly question. Their nose, dude. Do they smell with their nose, their eyes, their skin? Do they smell with your eyes? What is this, dude? Or their tongue. Did you make this quiz, Adam? No. Or else I know the answer. How do they smell with their eyes? What does that even mean? Maybe snakes How have you like- How you smell with your scales? Ew! Maybe snakes have like a special sensor in their tongues. That's why they're always like flicking their tongue out so they can like smell what's around them. What? Is that why you do it? No, I think it's like- you, you always do that. You know how when someone like makes cookies and it smells really good? Like what if the snake could literally like stick its tongue out and then like like lick the scent of the cookies in the air? Hey, yo, you can lick the scent in the air? Maybe a snake has the ability to do that because its nose isn't very good. I think it's the tongue. I think it's scales. I think this is actually a trick question. Why? What do snakes smell with? Like, what makes them smell? Like, they smell. Like, what makes a fish smell fishy? It's scales. Right. That's uh -huh. true. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's gotta be the scales. Like, a fish, like, it'd be like, oh, it smells like rotten fish in here. Right. And what makes the fish smelly? Scales. Okay, Jazz is gonna lock in scales. I'm gonna lock in Tom. If I get this, I'm a certified genius. I want an award. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was the tongue. You're hacking. I don't know how you are, but you're hacking, and I won't stand for it. Okay, what is this, bro? How many seasons are in a year? Bonus make, points no, for naming them. Okay, salt, pepper. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You laugh at me. You laugh at me. Uh, you laugh at me. I think those are seasonings. That's what it said. You laugh at no, me. But no, no, no. Smart. But I'm smart. It said how many seasons, like summer, winter. What? Like seasons in the year, not seasoning. Salt, pepper, cinnamon, cinnamon, and that's it. Garlic. Oh, what? I think that's also a season. Okay, so it's four. Okay. Salt, pepper, cinnamon, and um, garlic, four. Okay, I, I just, then I named them, so I get bonus points. <laughs> I think it means seasons, like summer, winter, and I think there's summer, winter. Okay, two. Summer and winter. Spring. What? And fall. So what? I think there's four. I said four. You're trying to steal my answer. Well, I think I think I think I'm gonna get bonus points for naming them. I all. named them already. Salt, pepper, cinnamon, and garlic. All right, we're both gonna lock in four. Let's see if it's right. I get this right, I'm a genius. I'm a genius! Wow! And I got it. Nice! I get the bonus points on that one. Let's go, dude. Oh, man. It's the max level, dude. We got one final question. What is Foxy's favorite food? This is impossible, bro. All right, what are the options? Is it McDonald's, donuts, fried chicken, or all of the above? I already know the answer, obviously. Foxy says, how well do you know me, eh? Well, I know you and Justin go to McDonald's a lot. You love getting the Happy Meals. Yeah. But you also go to Krispy Kreme a lot and get a lot of donuts. And Dunkin' Donuts. And you guys go to KFC a lot and get a lot of fried chicken. So, do you which is your favorite out of those, or do you like all of them? Mm. I'm gonna guess donuts. Donuts? Yeah. Uh, I, I know you love donuts, but I know you also love McDonald's and fried Foxy, chicken. I'll give you a hint, Aiden. What? I love them all the same. <gasps> so then it's all of the above? It's gotta be the all of the above, bro. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. Get LankyBox Plus. That was crazy, bro. That was a max difficulty multiple choice quiz. We're gonna go get Adam some cheese quiz. <laughs>